Yo, what's going on guys, it's Wicked here to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of tips on how the warm-up in Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, number one. Yeah, this is a top 10 video now. Um, you're going to want to warm-up in Terrace Hunt, opposed to uh, Casual. Casual isn't really good for warming up, in my experience, since when you die, because you know, there's a possibility of dying because you're versing players. Of course you can do that in Terrace Hunt. Um, but when you're playing club. Uh, casual. There's a lot of people who actually play casual that are already warmed up to say and they're actually sweating in there So you can verse sweats in uh, casual. So you're gonna want to go ahead and um, do Terrace Hunt Classic on hard on house If you guys don't know how to change it, go ahead and go to your match ring preferences and you're gonna want to uh, Go down to Terrace Hunt and you want to switch off everything except for house and Terrace Hunt Classic um, once you're in, uh, you go Ash, or Vacog, or whatever, or whoever you guys are like. It's a personal preference of who, who you main, or whatever. So just pick whoever you main, or whatever. Um, I recommend using ACOG. Um, you can of course use any site you, you like, you know. Um, but yeah, once you're in, you're gonna wanna spawn Riverdox. Um, sometimes I spawn front. But that's just, that's just me, so. Um, spawn Riverdox, get your Ash Charger out and blow open the uh, the left garage door, it's the free panel one, and then you're going to want to breach in, and you, there's, there's sometimes free guys in there, you know, you can just kill them, then just presume, then just like go in and clear out the house, it's it's pretty easy once you get used to it, um, and once you do that, do it again and again and again, I would say for at least, at least 20 minutes, until you feel like you're sweating, like legit, you're sweating. So until you start feeling sweated, or like you start being sweaty, um, you just wanna, wanna keep going through the house, clearing out hostiles, or like in the terrace, and there'll be a point where you're just like, you're flicking on the head, so you, you can just kill people really easily, and that's where you wanna be. Um, and then you're gonna wanna, you know, there's like a couple of different types of training I do, or like, you know, more months I do. The first one is um, speed training, which is like just go through the house and just, just kill people and flick onto their heads in full auto. Then the um, second one is actually um, one tap training or, you know, just headshot training where I go around the house and uh, one, one bullet, semi auto, yeah, semi automatic, and I just one tap people in the head. Um, you, of course, you're going to miss a couple of shots, but guess what? You're warming up. You're not here to hit every shot. You hear, get to that point of hitting every shot. So you just want to keep going on until you feel like you're hitting all your shots, and then yeah, you you feel like you're sweating, and then you're good to go into ranked. So another thing, if you're searching for a rank that takes a really long time, like ten minutes, um, you're gonna want to go ahead and back out and do two more terrace hunts, because if you go into a rank, you're gonna feel very like unenergetic in the in the match. And you don't want that. You always want to feel pumped to be playing the game or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching, I guess. <laughs> um, this is unscripted, so it, it was very bad. Um, I'm going to be giving you guys a um, leak to my next uh, edit that I'm going to be making. I'm not going to make another edit for like three months, so I'm, I'm putting a lot of work into this one. I've already put like a couple of days worth into it, so hope you guys enjoy it. Peace, love you guys, and take care. Oh my god, fucking spawn people.